hello there how are you today we're going to be talking about all the things i regret buying real quick if you are wondering yes i did obviously see a man about uh, a thyroid biopsy this is not a hickey it, everything's fine but uh, yeah it's there i feel like i need to comment on it okay now let's hop into the video. The number one thing I regret buying is these Skims tops because this is not a Skims top. This is an Amazon dupe. It's actually something my mom found and I so regret her showing it to me because now I own every single color. And we all know not all dupes are made equal and not everything has been duped. But this that fits everybody type smoothing top we got a good dupe. My mom found the one, I will link it down below. But you might regret buying it because you'll buy a whole bunch of them. Now if you can't tell, we're doing a little twist on the things I regret buying. There's a trend on TikTok where you say, I regret buying this because you love it so much. I thought it was a funny little take on everything. If you want an actual regrets video, I'll title it, Things I Actually <laughs> Regret but I thought this would be like a fun play and I have a long list, like over 20 items, so I'll stop rambling. I so regret buying Grande Lash because now I have been purchasing it for probably three years and I always get accused of wearing fake eyelashes and I have been skimping on some days, so this isn't like full eyelash growth, but yeah, I purchased once and now I have to purchase for the rest of my life because it is the best eyelashes of your life. They have never been longer, fuller, thicker. You won't stop receiving compliments. Warning, it's one of those things that if you use it every day, you're never gonna stop using it. I completely regret buying the T3 curling iron so late in my life. It not only gives me the best curls of my life, I ha I, I use it every single day. Today I, I curled inward instead of outward. I'm trying some new things. But the way that I can easily change the barrel of the curling iron to be a half inch, an inch, an inch and a half, I can get so many looks with one iron. What was I doing buying? all these different sized irons to try to get all these different looks when I could have just had one. Following with that, I completely regret buying the Orbe texturizing spray because now I have to buy so many bottles throughout the rest of my life because it's the only thing that will add volume and texture and set your hair all at once. I have the finest, thinnest, less voluminous hair in the world and it does magic to my hair and I just now cannot stop buying it. I completely regret the day that I found the Hue scrunch socks. I now have had to buy them in every single color. I have, you know, it's, it's probably been about a four year addiction. I was into scrunch socks before anyone else. I truly regret recommending them when I did because they used to be a few dollars cheaper now they're a hot ticket item, everybody wears them, but they're just the best, comfiest, perfect slouch socks. And yeah, I can't stop buying them. Ooh, do I regret buying the Dyson dupe? Well, actually I do because <laughs> ever since I bought it, it keeps going down in price. And so I should have just waited, but now I cannot stop vacuuming my floors. It's cordless, it has a light that shines horrifically on what you think is clean floors. I vacuum every single day and the light will show all of my dog hair, all of the lint, all of the dust. You know the Dyson vacuum, I think it's like five or six hundred dollars when I bought the dupe. It was two hundred. Now I think it's twenty percent off and I think it has a seventy dollar coupon so I'll link it down below. I, I I should have waited. Now you can buy it and regret vacuuming and having a perfectly clean home every single day. I wish I never saw the TikTok about all of the coconut oil pulling stuff, especially this one that has been recommended. I had some yellowing coming on and now I find myself every single morning swishing and swashing for like 10 minutes with some coconut oil. It's been too nice for my sensitive teeth and yeah, I really do like my dentist so I'm gonna miss seeing her as often as I usually do. With that being said, also was suggested to me was the tongue scraper 
and now I've been tongue scraping every single day and I really regret it because it is completely horrifying to see how much gunk comes off of your tongue. I spent 30 years of my life not scraping my tongue, a little bit embarrassed about it because yeah, it's it's, it's sickening. I regret seeing all that gunk coming off every single day, but now we got a clean and fresh mouth. Ooh, but my coffee table, I don't know if you've seen it, but boy, do I regret not finding it sooner because if you have kids, it is perfect. One, just the aesthetic of it is beautiful, but the aesthetic of it is what is so good for kids because it is roundy and curvy. My kid can run into it from any direction and there are no sharp edges. And on top of everything, it was so easy to assemble. I am illiterate at assembling stuff and it really gave me too much confidence on my next ability of being able to build stuff so how dare they make it so easy oh my god don't even get me started on my kitchen drying rack i have had it for over three years it was twelve dollars and i use it every single day if you have kids it is just so convenient to be able to wash something and stick it right in the drying rack and then use it, what, like an hour later when they want another snack? So I'm just gonna warn ya, if you get this, it's gonna make your life easier, but you're also gonna be a snack slave. Next, the infamous selfie light. Whether you make content or not, if you turn on your phone to snap a family photo or just see yourself, fix up your makeup, and then you do it with the light, it's gonna be a little horrifying to ever do it without the light. I also just hate recommending this because it's always sold out. Right now, I think it's in stock, but warning, it might sell out. I am so upset that I found this melatonin bath soak because now I have to every single night take this melatonin bath that is like a lullaby for my body before I get into bed. It is part of my bedtime routine and now I can't live without it. I thought I was living life fine without it, but now that it's in my life, it's here to stay. Ooh, this is an embarrassing one. Pimple patches. I do not recommend them if you don't wanna become one of those people that rocks pimple pouches out running errands because they work so well that I don't care if it's day or night, if I got a pimple coming on, I'm putting on one of those patches. And you know, Trader Joe's covered in patches, how am I gonna find my hubby? Just kidding, I, I, I don't need one of those. I, I, I just really need my pimple patches. This pains me because I was a Benetint Benefit girl for the longest time. If you don't know, it's a lip stain. And then I had to go and find this like $6 alternative that works even better. And now I wear it every day. I bought one bottle two years ago, so maybe it's expired and I still use it and I'm not even halfway done. I cheated on my Benefit Benetint and now I'm in a long-term relationship with the dupe. This next one has been a long regret in life. I think it's been, oh my gosh, a 15 year regret was finding Uggs. I have been an avid Ugg user for 15 years and people love to hate them, but my feet cannot stop loving them. I have two aggressively sized feet and the Uggs are just so comfy, they're so cute. I don't care if you're calling them hooves, people saying the meanest things about them, but I am addicted. I bought two pairs a season, I buy one pair every season for the past 15 years. All right, TikTok got me again on this wellness formula and a probiotic. These two together have just changed the game and now I have to keep repurchasing them. The wellness formula, if you're someone who gets sick all the time or if you have kids who are getting sick all the time, this is your best friend. It has a lot of great different things. The one I found, zinc, is also really good for your skin. Probiotic, good for gut health, good for a lot of things. But again, it's good for your skin and I've been having skin issues and so now I have to buy these forever because they've been really helping me. This one I feel remorse buying, my LED light face mask. I use it every night before bed, before I put in any products and sometimes I'm too tired and I leave it on my nightstand and my daughter comes in and screams. So uh, yeah, I, I got some regrets with that. But, but that red light, that blue light, it's, it's kind of worth it. I'm, I'm, I'm working out with my daughter. Next, ruggable rugs. I used to be someone who would just go through and mess up rugs 
every year and be able to change my aesthetic with new rugs because they were just spent. And now that I got ruggable rugs, I have been enjoying the same rugs for years because I just wash them once a week. They look brand new. The stress of the array of accidents that can happen with kids and dogs and honestly myself, I can be pretty clumsy. It's now something I can literally wash away. I am upset that they are very expensive, but I get it because you can have them probably for the rest of your life. Next, my regret of this rechargeable, flexible lighter. I just really miss, you know, accidentally burning myself or going to light a candle and then suddenly nothing comes out. Now if this happens, I just go and literally plug it in with a USB, charge it for a few minutes, and then I get to light my candle. Doesn't matter how used my candle is, if the little wick is all the way deep down in the jar, I just flip it and fire it. Next, my pride and joy is having a Montessori inspired snack drawer for my daughter for her to go and pull from. And boy, do I regret these snack organizers. Now I always find myself having to go and pick up new snacks and find different creative ways to keep it engaging and inspiring. It's a full-time job now. And don't even get me started on my $16 diffuser that I've had for three years. Regretfully, I spent the first two years using such okay scents and now i have found the santel scent santel santel Sa santel see i can't even i can't even say it <laughs> it's so hard to make this video in this tiktok style but yeah this scent i will say i do regret finding it and loving it because it is on the pricier side but you really only need like three drops in a full container to do like your whole, I do like my whole living room, playroom, kitchen space at once. And it just makes my whole room smell like a warm, inviting, yet spa-like and homey. It is the best scent in the entire world. And now I will forever buy it. And this is my, my home scent. If you want to ever know what my home smells like, it's that. Whew, okay guys, those were all of my regrets. I hope that you enjoyed this style of video. Let me know if you want a true things I ac actually regret buying. Let me know in the comments down below. I just thought this would be a funny take on a favorites video because I'm, I'm, I'm addicted to watching this style of content on TikTok. Anything I talked about, warning, you may regret it because you may fall in love with it will be linked down below. Let me know also if you have any things that you regret because now they are just a huge part of your life and you cannot live without it in the comments down below. Like this video if you liked it and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!